Hello, hello, hello. This is 8th House Goddess, and guess what I have? <laughs> I love saying that. I have a new deck, and it is called The Women of Myth. The Women of Myth. Uh, let's see, here's the box. The Women of Myth Oracle Deck. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful deck. So instead of a deck review, I want to do just a quick reading, if I can. Let's see. Um, because it's new, new. So I have smoked it. I have smudged it. I have, you know, um, cleared and cleansed it. But let's just see. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. This is 8th House Goddess. With Eighth House Awakening. And if you have been here before, thank you so much. If this is your first time, welcome in. <laughs> I want to make this quick. Let's see, we're at 111. Okay, with the time. Let's see. Uh, if we can get a card. Spirit, give us a uh, energy. Give us some energy. Okay, okay. <laughs> and guess who it is? Medusa. Now, in this deck, they haven't broken down heroin, uh, something else, and then monster. And so they have Medusa as the monster, the outcast. Anybody that know anything about um, uh, anything about um, Medusa will know that she's not the outcast that's not exactly what that is um however we we're going with you know the book and the deck and let's see what it has to say so let's see if i put it here can you see it sort of kind of this is very impromptu so <laughs> uh let's see it's in here by alphabet okay i found it it says misunderstood true uh, persecuted and victim blaming her story. Medusa, a beautiful maiden in Greek mythology, rejects the advances of Poseidon, who rapes her. Medusa is then turned into a fearsome monster with snakes for hair, so hideous that anyone who looks upon her instantly turns to stone. Card meaning, you're feeling like you're the victim of gossip, injustice, or an unwarranted public or private attack. Perhaps your actions, intentions, or personality have been misunderstood or misinterpreted. Her advice. Medusa calls on you to remember that much of what others say or do to you is a projection, not a reflection of who you are. Remember the power of telling your story. If it feels safe, she asks you to share your truth when you're ready to and however you feel able to share your truth. Okay, that's pretty cute. I like that for Medusa. That's a three minute, four minute <laughs> um, quick look at the Women of Myth uh, Oracle deck. It's Maria Sophia Marmonize. I think that's how you pronounce that, uh, mom and 80s, perhaps. I'm not sure. I don't want to, you know, just absolutely jack up her name. Okay, let's see. Let's see. We can have one more. Mulan, she's a heroine. The secret keeper. The secret keeper. Look at her. Mulan, the secret keeper. And I'm sure, you know, you guys saw the the um, the movie. Let's see. She's the heroine. Let's see if I can find her real quick. I wasn't sure. I, well, I got to get to the heroines first. No, that's the monster. Goddess is the other. Um, it's the other caliber. Category. Okay. Mulan, it says her story. Oh, secrets 
truths, and revelations. Her story, Mulan is a Chinese girl who goes to war in the place of her elderly father. She disguises herself as a man to fit in. After the war ends, she returns home where she reveals her secret to her fellow soldiers. You are holding a heavy secret. Come on now. It says you are holding a heavy secret, but a confession is on its way. The burden of silence can be daunting. Ask and evaluate who the secret is protecting or harming and if it's worth the price. Her advice, Mulan is asking you to question the magnitude of your silence. And if speaking the truth might offer you the relief you're seeking, consider the weight of your secret and if revealing your truth would be more liberating than, than debilitating. Okay, so you have a secret. You got to figure out how important is it for you to keep that secret. <laughs> um, okay, that's not an intuitive read. That's just a quick look at... Uh, the women of myth, let's get in the camera, the women of myth, um, Oracle deck. I'm going to spend some more time with the deck and then uh, I can really, you know, come through with, uh, with uh, some spiritual information. Um, that's it for now. This is 8th House Goddess and I am sending you all of the love and light. <laughs>